definitely we're not muted up there. It's not muted. Okay, good. So Blood Rage. Um, that's already played. It's new. <laughs> this is a very good game. Um, it's If you look online, it's super, super hyped right now. If you're on Facebook, you'll see it everywhere. Um, it's... I think it's worth a certain amount of hype. I'm not sure if it's worth quite the hype that you're seeing on Facebook. I think that's mostly just people having fun, but it's a pretty good game. It's it's um, It's got a nice level of strategy, but it doesn't take you hours to learn. And the instruction manual is literally this. It's just this nice little thin little instruction manual, very small. Um, so it's not like a fancy flight novel that you have to read before you can play the darn game. Unlike the game we'll be playing later. Uh, <laughs> so uh, this is we're starting earlier. Th so folks uh, who watch this on YouTube will not notice any difference. But um, uh, but yeah, we're starting this earlier for Extra Life. We've launched our campaign. So this is our first 12-hour marathon. Um, we'll be going till midnight. Well, I say 12 hours, but we started late because I'm slow. Um, We'll probably but, still run 12 hours. We like probably will wind up ending, uh, yeah, because the other game we're going to be playing later, uh, once Aaron and Sue arrive, is going to be a five-player game of Twilight Imperium. So that's going to take a long, long time. Um, but it should be fun. I think it should be fun. And um, the we might do Sir of the Seas in the middle if we run out of time. I don't know. I think this will probably last until Aaron gets here. But if he doesn't, we'll do a quick 10-minute game of that. Um, but, uh, but yeah, this... Uh, this is this game is about conquest and earning glory through death. Um, we're Vikings. Uh, I'm playing the Ram Clan. Ian is playing Raven, and Beth is playing the Serpent. Uh, for those of you who never played this game, there's no difference between the clans as far as um, how they play. Uh, every every kind of nuance to the clans is going to come from these types of cards that we get that we play. Um, each age will be drafting these cards and then we'll be playing so it's a little bit like steampunk rally in a way we're gonna pick cards out of our hand um, until we all have six cards you pick card pass it yep. um, so we're gonna draft you're gonna have an idea of what other players have because you're going to have seen those cards right um, and uh, and then we're gonna play and we're gonna do this through three ages um, as the game progresses because this is Ragnarok as the game progresses more and more regions are going to get destroyed, so there's going to be three more regions in this game that get destroyed. It's going to be much more contentious as the game goes. Um, and the only area that doesn't ever get destroyed is Yggdrasil. Um, that uh, is also an area you can have unlimited units. Um, so we're going to talk about we talk about the board first, and then I'll talk about um, the cards and how they work. And that's pretty much it. I mean, you yeah. get your cards, play your cards, and then, and then you, you take your actions. Um, so, we've got all of the world here, yeah, and it's split up into regions. If you notice, they're colored. So we've got the yellow region, the bluish region, and this kind of sad little gray region. Each region is divided up into provinces, that's why they're separated. So there's three provinces in the northern region, two, two, and uh, three mm -hmm. uh, here. Um, in each province, you'll notice there are villages. These are areas that can be um, occupied by units. Only one unit can be in each village, so if somebody's already there, you can, you can fill in those spaces around it. Um, if a person is in a province, another clan can show up. That's how we start wars. Mm -hmm. um, so just be aware these are limited. However, in Yggdrasil, you can have any number of units. We can fill that board until we run out of room, which can happen and did happen the first time we played. Uh, <laughs> and it was pretty fun. Mm -hmm. uh, the other thing that you're going to see are fjords, and that is where you're going to put your ships. Um, I have yet to find an easy way to move a ship once you've placed it. So you can. I mean, unless uh, there was one card that unless there's a that card, but, um, but no. be very strategic once you with put your it, ships because you put it there, it's probably there forever for the entire age. Um, the neat thing about the fjords, well, though, you it. yeah, the neat thing about the fjords though is multiple ships can go here, mm -hmm. um, and they help both they sides. help both sides. So if I put a ship here, it does not mean that you are locked out of the fjord. Okay. Um, the uh, sea monster, which is one of the monsters you can control also acts as a ship. Okay. So he has the power, but he also has the um, uh, the ability to support two regions. Okay. So he has his strength, I mean, not the power, but his strength. I wonder if he moves. Uh, I didn't see anything on the card that showed he did, so I'm assuming you must have used to, because he acts as a ship, he must have to have the same kind of thing. Mm -hmm. um, and I probably should have kept one of the clan boards out so I can show everybody what I'll be showing Ian. But if you notice, um, on your clan board, Ian, mm -hmm. there are a couple of different um, things that display. So yes. I'm going to show this right here because you can't see my whole board. Um, up here is where your ship is. That yep. is your ship's strength. Mm -hmm. um, it's also the ship's cost and rage to bring it out. Okay. 
Um, this right here is your rage pool. This is how many actions you have in a turn. Mm -hmm. um, this is your leader. This is your leader's power. If you notice it says invades for free, that means you can bring it onto the board without spending rage. Yep. Um, and then down here is your generic kind of warriors, mm -hmm. and that is their strength. So the warriors only have a strength of one. Um, they can be upgraded. Mm -hmm. And these are all the same. They're all warriors. It's just some have up and down. Is that the idea? It, or? Yes. Um, and yeah, so the, the figures that you have, mm -hmm. uh, they used two different figures just to make it less dull. You know what yeah. I mean? So you're not having just the same uniform units all over the board. Oh, yeah. Especially if you're somebody who likes to paint figures, which I am. I just haven't had time to do this one. Um, but... Uh, it lets you have a little bit of variety in what you what you choose to do. Nice. Um, other tracks to look at is you've got your rage track, your um, axes track, and your horns track. Mm -hmm. These will go up during the game. They typically don't go down. You well, if you steal, you're stealing rage. And it's usually this path. So again, this is your available actions. Mm -hmm. This is going to show you what you can do throughout the game. So rage, as this goes up, your available actions are going to increase as well yeah. during the next round. So if I raise this by pillaging. Um, this does not go up immediately unless I have a card that says it does. There are some cards that will give you immediate rage benefits. Mm -hmm. okay. um, in the uh, axes, that's how much glory points, which are victory points, that's how much glory you earn for killing people okay. in battle. And winning. And, yeah. yeah, and winning the battle. Yeah, so not when you win a battle. Well, yeah, right. well, well it depends on what you have a card. Yeah. Um, but if you're winning a battle, essentially, once mm -hmm. you're done, yeah. you're going to count your glory. You might have a card that gives you bonus glory. Um, and then your axis level is how much glory you get. Okay. The difference between, I'm going to talk about that after, I'm going to talk about pillaging. There is some, a way to get increased glory when you're pillaging mm -hmm. uh, in fights because your pillage counts right away. Or everything else doesn't count right away, but pillaging does uh, for mm -hmm. glory. Uh, and then your horns is how many units you can have on the board at any given time. Okay. Um, so right now our, our horns is at four because we all start in the first row of this. Mm -hmm. um, and so what's going to happen is if I have four people out here, mm -hmm. I can't bring any other units onto the board until I sacrifice some or kill them or I can't just, you can't pull them. They have to die. Uh, <laughs> so, um, so just be aware of that. And then on the bottom, it's just showing the different, um, the different things that you can do during a round and what it might cost you in rage. Mm -hmm. Um, be aware if you ever hit zero rage, which can happen, you're going to spend all of your rage and zero rage is right here. It's kind of not really colored, but. Um, if you hit zero rage, you can't do any actions, including free actions. Okay. The only type of action you can do is when you're in battle. Somebody starts a battle, you can still fight them. Yeah. Um, but you can't initiate battles, you can't move stuff around, even if it tells you that so it's So basically, free. if you want to do the free stuff, do it before you spend the rest of your rage. Yes. And um, you regenerate each round? Uh, yes, yes okay. it does. And there are ways sometimes to gain rage during the round. Um, mm -hmm. As long as you're not cards zero, because you have to be able to play the cards and stuff. Right. Um, but essentially... Well, if you're in a battle. That's true, that's, that's true. Or you can get from the battle card that's right uh, so there's a way to recap rage um, the other thing is like when you turn in quests that's done outside of kind of the regular actions phase and it's yep. free action so even if you spent all your rage mm -hmm. um, you can still fulfill quests when you get to that point in that part of the round nice. um, the other thing um, if you decide to pass which you are allowed to do it's not like other games where you can pass and then later start taking an action again. If you pass, your rage goes to zero immediately. So if there's okay. things that you can't do or if you really don't want to do anything else, be cautious. Um, you have to either take an action or pass. Mm -hmm. um, and so if you choose to pass, that's it for you for the round. Okay. Yeah. So if you want to get credit for your goal, mm -hmm. then uh, yes, your quest goal, you have to do it before you pass. Exactly. Um, now, there's multiple phases in each age mm -hmm. and until we get to the point where a new part of Ragnarok happens or another part of the board is going to die. I'm going to read these when we get to that, okay, that rule that um, and explain that to the folks watching because you can't, you can't the light is reflecting it. off of this and mm -hmm. you can't see it. Right. The, first, uh, the first action is of the God's Gifts phase. I'm not going to show you these cards yet because I want to show you what the cards do and that's what I've got these from the, mm -hmm. that we pulled. Um, but essentially we're going to take this deck um, we're going to deal eight cards right. to everybody. Uh, you're going to look at the deck or the cards that you have. You're going to put one face down in front of you. Usually you put it on your clan board mm -hmm. face down, but you can put it on the side just to make sure it's separate from cards that you've played. Yeah. Um, you're going to put it face down and then you're going to pass to your left. Mm -hmm. I think one of the games that we play, it might be worth it to do it like Seven Wonders. You pass clockwise once, then counterclockwise, then clockwise. I, I think that would, be, that would be good, especially with Aaron. I mean, it, it, it helps because, I mean, you were always like, you always had to agonize over what you gave yes. because mm -hmm. he was going to get first yes. crack at it. I was always screwed because he was always going to have first crack at him. Yep. <laughs> yep. So I think what we'll do, I think for this game, we should play it 
by traditional rules mm -hmm. for the broadcast, but like yeah. just we'll keep that in mind for future broadcasts because mm -hmm. we're going to be doing this again when we play it during the marathon for mm -hmm. Extra Life. Um, and that would be nice in the marathon to actually mix it up because we're going to have five players, and we're going to so. have five players, and so it'd be nice to mix it up for that. Yep, I so think that's a good. We idea. have a good. So we'll see if it works. If we don't like it, then next time we'll, we play, we'll do it regular. But for this game, we're going to do it traditional. We're just going to pass left each time. We're going to do that six times. So there's going to be two cards that never get put into play. Mm -hmm. um, so once you've gotten your six cards, take the remainder cards and just pass them to me so I can put them out of the game. Um, but don't like don't show them to anybody. Mm -hmm. them, but don't show them to anybody because it, it you don't it, it's a little because bit they of don't they don't know what, what you're really what you're actually keeping. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, exactly. Um, so we're going to do that. Then we start with the action phases. And the action is when we pillage, when we play cards, and that kind of thing. So we talk about cards real quick. There's three different types. There's three different colors. We're going to talk about the upgrades first. The upgrades are black. Yep. It tells you on the side what type of upgrades. So this mm -hmm. says leader upgrade. Yep. Um, and you'll see a number up here. Like this one says five plus. Just ignore the number when you mm -hmm. see those. That's just so, for setting up purposes. Okay. It has nothing to do with the game. Um, the top number is the cost and rage to play it in the game okay now when you play it you play it if you notice each person has an area so mm -hmm. you're going to put it right on their spot over the number okay so in this case three the leader doesn't get any more strong he's still mm -hmm. three this replaces the strength of whoever yeah. you're upgrading in a lot of cases it gets higher yeah but it gives you an, another ability so for example this one says if you successfully pillage with your leader you may move him to an adjacent province now you don't want to cover it i need to move some stuff because Honestly, this would go here, mm -hmm. next to it, not on it. Yeah, we use it Because you don't kind lose your invades for free. Yeah, you don't lose your invades for free. You still kind get of, the benefits. Slide it under the card a little bit. Yeah. 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 Um, and then, like with ships and stuff, I put it on top because I don't care. Yeah. But and the warriors, I don't care because that never changes. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, so you'll play it. You'll pay your rage. You'll play the card. When you play the card, just read it so that folks watching will know um, what it is that you're yes. getting for a benefit. So you can keep track of what we're doing. Mm -hmm. So if you notice on your board, you have also clan upgrades. You can have up to three. Yep. Down here are you can have up to two monster upgrades. Okay. They're considered monsters. Mm -hmm. mo they're considered upgrades, but they're they're actual monster characters. You get that character. If ever you lose that character, it gets removed from the game. No one will ever use it other than you. Okay. Um, and that becomes another unit. The monster card, which I didn't, I don't have any, but uh, it looks just like this. You'll have a strength. Mm -hmm. That's also the rage to play the card. Yeah. It'll have a special ability usually. Mm -hmm. um, and monsters, when you play a monster upgrade, you get to place them immediately if you want okay. for free, mm -hmm. I believe. Yeah. Yes. It is. You don't have possible. to though. You can, but yeah. um, most of the time you're going to. So you'll hang on to that card until the best time to play it because some of them have effects when they come into play. Mm -hmm. Actually, most of them do. Um, mm -hmm. So that's what the upgrades do. If you ever want to play a different upgrade, so say I had a clan upgrade up here and I, I'm like, you know what, I don't have any more room for a new one, mm -hmm. but I want to replace one, just either discard the other one or just place the new upgrade on top, but it will supersede. You will only ever have three clan upgrades at a time. Mm -hmm. You will only ever have one leader, one ship, and one um, warrior. warrior, and two monsters. Okay. Um, so that is upgrades. And then you have battle cards. So when we're fighting each other, um, we're each going to pick a card. You must pick a card. So if you don't have a battle card, you must play a different card. Um, you have to play something face down. It can be a battle card or something else. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, the battle cards are the only ones that contribute to battle. Mm -hmm. They will show you if they contribute a total to your value. Mm -hmm. So if I had two warriors in this, my total value is three mm -hmm. uh, in the combat. Uh, and then there's usually a special ability, like this one says gain three glory if you win this battle. Um, some of them have pre-fight abilities, which are kind of neat, so you flip it over and mm -hmm. mess with people before you actually get to fight them. Right. Um, and so what you're going to do is play it face down, both people are going to flip, we're going to compare notes and see who won. That's what battle cards are. Um, I'm going to talk about battle later and why other cards could affect, um, but then the last one is quests. Mm -hmm. Now when you want to use a quest, you, it doesn't cost any... Remember, you have to have mm -hmm. rage left to even be able to play the quest right. face down, but... What you do is you commit to the quest. You do not show people what this quest is until you complete it. Mm -hmm. um, but what if yeah, I want to commit, stage. which is yeah, a whole other stage. You complete it after the action phases. Mm -hmm. But during the action phases, you need to commit to it if you want to actually be able to use it. Mm -hmm. So let's say I want to do widespread. No, but let's mm -hmm. say I did. Mm -hmm. um, what I would do is I would say I'm committing to a quest. And you're going to play it face down on your clan card above your clan symbol or on top of your clan symbol. Okay. You can play as many quests as you want. I can do on my next turn when we come around to my next turn. I can be like, I'm going to commit to this quest. Um, you can complete multiple quests at the same time, meeting the same criteria. So if it says, have the most power in one province, and I do that in two separate provinces, um, or I, I mean, I'm sorry, I do it in one province, so I have the most power here. 
But I have two quest cards Let's that say, say be that. Yep, they I resolve count. one and then I resolve the next one. Mm -hmm. uh, that being said, if I have more power in two provinces, I cannot count the same quest twice. A quest will only be completed once per card. Right. And usually um, they say in this region mm -hmm. specifically. Yes. So they will. And they will show you where you need to have the most power, um, and then. But again, like it, it, you can complete multiple quests for the same thing doing the same criteria. Um, Which is part of the strategy of trying to get quests. That yeah, all if you yes. happen if you happen to get the same quest twice, yay! It's actually really and you great. Can, so yeah. you can Aaron do it. did it with that glory of death one, yeah, which got both was amazing. Mm -hmm. So many points, so many points because it was an end phase. The quests, the quests start out and they get higher and higher as you go. Mm -hmm. So anything in a blue diamond is glory. That's your reward in glory. Right. Um, and so, for example, if I did this one, I would get seven glory. Um, and the other neat thing is, if you complete a quest, you usually get to raise the staff by one. Mm. So you get to take one of these tracks and go up by one. Mm -hmm. um, so that's a free way of doing it without having to do like pillaging and stuff. So just okay. kind of like pulling the the drafting part makes yeah, sense. Yeah, one hundred percent. The other thing to talk about with drafting is all of the cards, most of the cards actually, not all of them, most of the cards have a god associated with them. So this yes. one's Loki and this one's Thor. Mm -hmm. It's a good idea not to have, it's up to you based on what cards you get, but yeah. you want to try to have kind of the same cards, mm -hmm. like pick a couple of gods that seem yeah. to work well for you. If you spread too thin, sometimes your stack bonuses towards the end of the game, your combo bonuses are lower. Now, yes. that being said, that can work for you depending on what your strategy is, but mm -hmm. um, just be aware they work completely differently. Loki mm -hmm. is very different from Frigga, who's very yeah. different from Thor. Okay. Um, so just keep that in mind. Yeah. Um, and then, uh, just to give you an idea so they you'll know when you see them. They will fit the mythos, too. They yeah. do. Like, Odin is judgment and punishment mm -hmm. in and out of battle, so you can get battle cards from him and you can get upgrades from him. Nice. Uh, Thor is glory and spoils victory in battle, so he's almost always red cards. Yeah. Uh, Loki is revenge or spoils for defeat in battle, so basically murder all your people and get points. Yeah. Uh, Frigga is resources and support, and she is awesome. I love mm -hmm. the, her stuff. Uh, Heimdall is foresight and surprises, and Tyr is great numbers for winning battles. Okay. So you want to try to have a balance of a couple different types. Um, you can have a few more if you want, but mm -hmm. um, just be aware. And then once we've done the draft, we're going to move into the actions phase. Um, is it by the picture that you can tell what who's who? Is that the idea? They, they almost always say Thor is something, or Frigga is something. Oh, I, I get it. Yeah. Okay, they okay. usually have, you know, so that's, that's totally just an association at all. They right. just, yeah, that's agree. just the, the title <laughs> yeah. to basically be like, this is a battle card for this god. Yeah. yeah. Then the description tells you. Exactly. Um, and then and then there's uh, a bunch of different options you can choose. Once, we, once we've drafted all of our cards, mm -hmm. um, you have different options for actions. You will take one action type per turn, so we're going to keep on going until everybody passes, basically. So once everybody's passed, then we'll, we'll move on to the next phase of mm -hmm. the uh, round, which would be our discard phase. But during the action phase, you can invade, you can march, you can upgrade, you can commit to a quest, or you can pillage. Mm -hmm. um, when you're invading, and you can invade an area that doesn't have anybody. So basically, there's nothing on the map. If I'm player one, and I want to move here, that's considered invading. Mm -hmm. Well, you are. You're um, invading that village. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's just I was the first one to invade it. Mm -hmm. Um, so when you evade, you take a First. single figure, <laughs> you take a single figure, uh, you pay rage equal to that figure's strength, mm -hmm. whatever the current strength is based on your upgrades, mm -hmm. you claim on board in an empty village spot mm -hmm. um, in any outer province. You may not invade directly in Igrasil unless you have an upgrade that allows you. I think there's one upgrade that lets there's you. One there's one monster. There's that one monster actually. that can. Yeah. Because the dark elves can yeah. do whatever they darn well please. Um, mm -hmm. If you're invading with a ship, you place it in any fjord. Mm -hmm. um, and... You uh, um, and again to, to go into Igrisil, you can do that. You just have to march. Um, and remember, when you're invading with your leader, it does not cost any rage. You just place no. them. Well, we're not there yet. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, the other thing you can do is you can march, and when you do that, you pay one rage, and you can choose a province. So let's say I have like some dudes here, mm -hmm. and then like a dude over here. Mm -hmm. um, I choose one province. I cannot choose a fjord. So that's why ships like almost never move. Uh, and you yeah, move any can't. number. Hmm? They literally can't on the plane. Right. Yeah. They cannot. Yeah. They're just stuck. I think there, there's that one card that that Sue had. I can't remember. What I was. I don't remember. She didn't use it. She yeah. just yeah. She <laughs> she ended up hoarding it for like two rounds. Never used it. Um, two ages, I mean. Uh, but anyway, uh, you choose a province that you want to move into, and you can move as many of those figures into it. So uh -huh. I pay my one rage. Maybe I only want to move one guy over here. Mm -hmm. Maybe I want to move them both. Or I could march both these guys you're, into... You're yes. Her province you're moving into. 
Yes, but I can only do it per turn. So I can't spend right. two rage, for example, and do this. Cannot do. I can okay. S when I march, I'm marching from one province. I pick which more province, but it only costs me one rage to do the march. Mm -hmm. So if this place was full, mm -hmm. I could spend one and move them all over here. Okay. Or all over here. Mm -hmm. But I may not take from multiple provinces. Okay. Marching is move from one province to another province, right. any number of figures. One and you can only do it once per turn. And you can only do it once per that action for that turn. Yes. Okay. Just there. Because during the age, you might do it multiple times. It's right. just that one but rage. that one turn. Yes. Yes. You only exactly. take one action per. Yes. Turn. Right. Per action. Right. 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 I guess. I guess. I guess. And then the other thing that you can do is you can upgrade, which we kind of already talked about. You spend yeah. the the cost, and then you place them. Um, uh, you put, you pay the card strength. Sorry, in rage, and they play it in the right slot. Um, if there's already a card there, you just replace the card. Um, and that upgrade card is an immediate permanent effect. So you get any benefits listed on it from higher strength to your troop to special abilities, and that is immediate. Mm -hmm. um, and. Oh, that was something we didn't even think about. If you have uh, two upgrades in different slots that give you the same type of benefit, both count separately so you can stack them. Okay. Essentially. I don't think it came up in our game, but that is something that I probably should have told you guys we played the first time. <laughs> okay. Um, I, I know you're explaining rules, but you just have to poke your head that way real quick. Just to look oh, God. I'll hit the camera. Oh. No. Why? What's he doing? He's just... Splayed out like... Oh, yeah. That's what he does on hot days. He yeah. basically sticks his crush in the air. Yeah. yeah he's good. He lies he's on his like, back and... Yeah. That cat. He's just sitting there being all... He's so cute. super cute. His, eye, his eyes are like sit, almost closed oh, all the way. I just want to rub his belly when you do that, but don't. Yeah, no. no. One time he let me, he was so relaxed. I was like, wow, he let me pet his tummy. Usually if you do that, you die. Yeah. You'd lose um, a hand. <laughs> Sorry. Continue. Oh, that's okay. Um, oh, and you, a thief, sent us a smiley. Um, and Austin CM 93 says this is kind of interesting. It is a fun game. It's a fun area control game, but it's less complex than other area control games. Like Triassic yes. Terror, whoa. Well, no, I know. Game, but way more complex than this sure. one. Uh, <laughs> so... Now, uh, you can, um, it, oh, oh yeah, if you play a leader, a warrior, or a ship upgrade, yes. and you have that in your reserve, mm -hmm. you get to immediately evade with it without spending any extra rage. Okay. So if I play a warrior, I can stick a warrior out on the board. Yep. I play yeah. I mean, yeah, if you do this, okay, yeah. Yep. Yeah. So and that could be, so that's a way well, of kind so of doing two things. So it's not just the monster upgrades. Yes, it's yeah. everything. Oh, okay. Um and as long as you're not exceeding your <coughs> figure one. Yeah. exactly yeah you still have to keep track of your horns level yeah. uh, but that's a neat way like if you want to do an upgrade in turn one mm -hmm. you can also still invade without having to wait for the next action to do it which is mm -hmm. really nice um, and we already talked about committing to quests you just say you're committing to it you never show us what it is and you mm -hmm. play it face down uh, the other action that you can do is pillage now um what you do when you pillage is you have to be mm -hmm. in a village have at least one figure in a village pillage in a province a that has not been pillaged already mm -hmm. when it's already been pillaged we're going to flip it over so you know that it's mm -hmm. no longer available you can still do other things in that province but you won't be able to pillage mm -hmm. only one person's going to get to do it at a time it's very contentious and it will become more so as this board starts to get destroyed yeah. uh, <laughs> so um what you're going to do is you're going to get the reward and i'll explain what each one of them is mm -hmm. it should be pretty obvious but um, but it will make sense when I explain it because folks watching might not be able to see the symbols. Mm -hmm. um, but if you're by yourself and you say you're going to pillage, you simply flip the token over and you get the reward. Mm -hmm. If, however... As long as you have rage. Yeah, as long as you have rage because mm -hmm. you do have to have at least one point of rage. Pillaging is free, but you still have to have at least one point of rage to do the action. Um, but let's say... Let's say... Thank you. Uh, Beth is right here. Mm -hmm. um, she can fight me. Actually, even if I'm here. If she's, if she's adjacent, she can move in. Um, because I can... If When she says she wants to pillage, then anybody adjacent yes. can, can fight her. Can, as long as there's room. Mm -hmm. Yes. If, she had, if, she was, if she, I was full, then if I had three people in there, then she can't attack me from next door. Mm -hmm. But if there's an empty space and I say I'm going to pillage, she's allowed to call her people into battle. So uh -huh. are you. you. Anybody adjacent can do that until uh -huh. there's no room. It's going to start with the person on my left. Mm -hmm. Um, and it's going to go clockwise. Mm -hmm. So when I say I'm going to pillage, I look at Beth, and she has the choice, do you want to call anybody to battle? She can move somebody in. You move one at a time. Then you get to do it. If you pass, she can then move another one in if she wants mm -hmm. to. If you choose to move one in, this, this area would be mm -hmm. full, and we wouldn't be able to do it anymore. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, uh, you're going to keep on doing that. Um, although I believe I can do the same thing. Let me just yeah, double if, check. Like if there, yeah, if including the, you. If, if they want. there was nobody else there, then... 
I don't have nobody I can move I in. I have the option to move somebody from an adjacent location. But you have to have somebody exactly. actually here. You can't I can't pull somebody from... You can't invade. Uh, but then if I pass, that gives her the opportunity to bring her other character over. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Until basically the place is full or we both mm -hmm. pass. Okay. Um, now, uh, it, so if there are no enemies, no battle takes place, um, and obviously you don't gain any glory for winning battles because one didn't happen. Mm -hmm. uh, otherwise, we're going to do the battle, and what we're going to do is we're going to take a card and play it face down in front of us. Mm -hmm. um, and then once we're, we're done, we're going to flip them over. Uh, oh, and if I do not have a red card, mm -hmm. I must play a card. If you right. have no cards, then you don't have to play a card. But if right. you have at least one card, you must commit it to the battle. Mm -hmm. uh, so I would play a card that's, you know... Because you have to make it think... You don't, and you kind of want to play the card anyway because you want her to think you're playing something that right. could potentially defeat her. You have to get her to cycle out cards that, because if she wins, she loses the card. Mm -hmm. um, so what you're going to do is you're going to flip the cards over. We're going to compare our strength total. So in this case, I have one strength. Let's say I actually had a battle card just for fun. Mm -hmm. um, I have two strength. She has two strength. We're tied. If she played a battle card that has a strength on it, she would beat me. Right. Um, does that make sense? Mm -hmm. uh, we resolve the text possibly first in some cases, so I might not even have the card to even play in the battle because she could revoke it, she could kill one of my units right off with the card, and then just win automatically. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of different things. Um, but basically, strength total that is the highest is the winner. Uh, if um, you win, you discard all cards that you put in, into play. Sometimes you play more than one. Mm -hmm. If that happens, they get discarded. If you lost, you take the card back. So don't be afraid if you have to play a card that isn't a battle card, you will get it back because you're probably going to lose. Mm -hmm. However, if you did play a card that wasn't a battle card and you won, you will lose that card. So mm -hmm. you could still potentially lose a card mm -hmm. even if it's not a battle card. Okay. Does that make sense? Yep. Get rid of the cards, finally. Um, if the pillaging player does not win the battle, um, the province isn't pillaged because the person who in, who stopped me from pillaging doesn't just get to pillage. Right. You have to win a battle and be, you have to be actually taking the pillage. You're actually defending, you're preventing the pillage from happening. Yep, you're, you're defending not, pillages. You're not, you're so you can pillage them later. How dare you pillage these poor people? Yep. If you Die. win the battle, you get to pillage um, right away. Uh -huh. um, if you. Um, but if you. Um, if you don't win, I mean, I mean, I'm sorry, if you defeated somebody who was pillaging, you don't get to automatically pillage. Mm -hmm. right. But um, since my turn's next, I could say, well, no, I'm going to pillage. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, the other thing to talk about is if you win, you gain glory. Mm -hmm. um, the glory is... Um, Whatever your axe level is. It, yes, it's yes. your axe level. And, and the reason why I wanted to talk about that is if we were here fighting mm -hmm. and I pillaged, I get this first. Mm -hmm. Because you adjust this first. Mm -hmm. Um, so I would flip that, move this up, and potentially gain additional glory. Yes. Yeah. The difference between glory and the other pillage types mm -hmm. is rage is calculated. Actually, it's really just rage. That's it's, yeah, it's just rage. That, um, that rage, rage is calculated rage at the start of the Because right, exactly. it specifically okay. says at the start of each round. Yes. Mm -hmm. So when you pillage rage, this your rage track will go up, but your well, your your rage rating will go up, I'll say that, but your actual right. rage track for using uh, activities do not go up. Mm -hmm. Your glory track goes up and you will get that extra glory immediately. Mm -hmm. uh, if your horn goes up, up you immediately, you immediately can put it on the curb. You that. can, when it's your turn. Exactly. So hopefully that makes sense. <laughs> um, and then we're going to talk about real quick the different rewards that are pillageable mm -hmm. right now. Um, this is five glory. Yep. This will give you one rage. Yep. Uh, this will give you one glory, glory. one glory, mm -hmm. one rage, mm -hmm. one horn. We only have one of those in the whole game. Yeah. Uh, that's going to be interesting. Mm. In Igrasil, though, if you pillage successfully in Igrasil, you, you get one of each. Okay. Yeah, you can see, you can see it's hard to see, but it's mm -hmm. picture each. Yes. Um, so pillaging there is difficult, mm -hmm. <laughs> but very rewarding. Because there's no limit to space and everything's adjacent to everything. Correct. Mm -hmm. Everybody can move in. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Um, once we've done all that, we're going to do this multiple times until we run out of rage mm -hmm. and we calm down and take a break. Mm -hmm. uh, then we move into the discard phase, which is right here. I'll be moving this little token as we go. Mm -hmm. um, so once we get to the discard phase, that goes there. You're going to take all of your cards and discard them. Okay. You are allowed to keep one card. So if you have a card in your hand that you didn't play that you want to save, you may save one card into the next, ra ra uh, next um, age. Mm -hmm. Just put it down on your board and discard anything else. Okay. It is actually possible to have two or three cards at the end, depending on what you chose to do. Um, 
And if that's the case, pick one if you want to save one. You are not required to save any. Mm -hmm. um, now, does that count against your six card limit? No. Okay. That's okay. why you put it face down, face down on your card. Oh, so okay. So <laughs> I, 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 your yeah, hand so limit. Each, each, it increases by one each. No, one. Right. Yep. just the one. You're, drafting, one. you're only drafting oh, right, you're six, only but your hand limit is always seven. Okay. Except for the first round, because it's impossible to have seven in the first round. Um, but yeah, you have a hand limit of seven, which means okay. you get to save one. Cool. Um, once we're done with the discard phase, we're going to move into the quest phase. And what you're going to do is reveal, we start with the player one, mm -hmm. you reveal all the quests that you committed to, mm -hmm. and we determine if you succeeded. If you did, you mm -hmm. get points. If you didn't, you don't. Um, and if you do get to do the quest, remember, read the bottom of the quest card, because at the bottom of the quest card, there may be, I think all of them say that. You get to raise yeah. a stat. Mm -hmm. Take one of these traps and go up. Whichever one you um, want. We'll talk about why these tracks are important to raise higher and higher. Uh, obviously you get benefits immediate, but there's also some long-term yeah. benefits. Yeah. Um, yeah, bonus points. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, if you notice, if you get up to here, to the six and seven, or five mm -hmm. and six, I think, one, two, three, four, five. All right, so if you get to four and five in here, the end of the game, if you're in four or five, you get plus 10 glory. Mm -hmm. right. If you're all the way up to six, you get plus 20. 20. Yeah. So. Is it, pretty, is, it, is it per category as well? Mm -hmm. um, See, so it could yeah. be a total of 60 glory extra so. if you got to max on all of them. I'm pretty yeah. sure. Let me see. Uh, let's yeah, because that's what Aaron did. He went boom, 60. Just <laughs> uh, you know how he jumped from like here to there. No. Oh, technically he shouldn't have. Oh, really? Yeah, it's just either. Oh wait, no, you do. You do. <laughs> I was gonna say it makes sense for it to be count for it for each category. Well, because he looked at the example, I'm looking at the example too, just to make sure I'm right. Mm -hmm. Raven player has managed to raise two of his ten stats to one of levels. At the end of the game, he gains ten glory for rage and twenty glory for access for a total of thirty. Mm -hmm. Nope, it's wherever it stopped. So he did do it wrong. Mm -hmm. Yep. So it's wherever this is at the end is the glory you get. So if I'm here, right. I get twenty. Right. right. I no. don't get thirty. No, he no. had all. No, he had no, access, but glory, but and but rage. But for each category. Yeah, because he, yeah. he had two at twenty and he had one at ten. Yeah. I think so. Okay, then he did do it right. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, you don't like if I'm all the way here, I don't get thirty. I mm -hmm. get twenty. Right. Um, and then after after we get done with the quest phase, we move into the Ragnarok phase. Um, the next place gets destroyed. <laughs> <laughs> um, that red token that she just moved for folks watching, that is showing us what the next province is going to be that gets destroyed, so it helps you keep track of it. Um, and we'll be that. So that one is going to be contentious this first round because the only time you can pillage it is pretty much now. Mm -hmm. um, and then once we get past the Ragnarok phase, we move to the release from Valhalla phase. And what that means is all figures in Valhalla return to the respective owners. Um, figures on the game board don't move. The hall, they come back to life, essentially, or they get reborn. Um, and if you have Loki upgrades, you may get points for that. Okay. Um, and that's it. That answers so. my question about this, then. <laughs> about whether or not it's riskier or not risky to go ahead and use your leader. It, yeah, it can be if because you want to... you do get him back, but yeah. he, can, he can die, but you can yeah. get him back. The nice thing about them is they're worth three points in combat, so sometimes right. folks are a little bit cautious about where they put them, because uh, you want to get the most benefit out of them. But right. you do not lose them for the whole game. You could lose them for a round, yeah. but you won't lose them for the whole game. Okay. So let's see who gets the first player horn. Once they're in Valhalla, they're there for the rest of the round. Right. Yeah. Monsters too. Mm -hmm. Monsters are not destroyed when they go to Valhalla. They come back. Right. <laughs> Which is very nice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's not very nice. Eight. <laughs> Eight. <laughs> wow. Nineteen. Damn. I don't think I'll ever go back this game ever in my life. 16. Wow. All right. So Ian, you are first player. Okay. <laughs> it's too small to sound that I deep. Know. It's like. <laughs> <laughs> well, if, if it's in scale of this, then it's gonna sound that deep because you have to figure more. Like, it's freaking huge compared to the people. Yeah, it passes out immediately. Although, although compared to the ship, it would sink it. <laughs> yes. By the way, these are the people. This is the little tiny ship. I don't even know if you can see it. From yeah, this is their toy boats. So yes, the it's, yeah, it's, their, it's the ones that they have their children make to plan for battles. You know, when, when you go to Central Park or wherever, and there's that little lake, and people are like, mm, yeah, exactly. Little robot boats. That's that's. We us. put little lights in them, you know, and, and <laughs> send them down the river during festivals. <laughs> All right, we're gonna deal out our cards. Do some drafting. Sorry, I'll get this closer too. I just don't want to risk flipping them by accident. Yeah. Also, don't want to risk hitting the camera, which I'm probably going to do at least once during this little mini marathon. Beware earthquakes when Ragnarok happens. <laughs> <laughs> I should just do that when we destroy to shake the camera. I'm like, right. everybody get ready to be motion sick. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's, is that all right? I don't know. There. 
No, no, there's two extra. Oh, that's right. Give me that pop. Sorry. Yep, yep, yep. yep. We, we only have two left. Yep, 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 yep. All right. My bad. Yeah, you have it. Yeah, because we should have eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. So pick a card. Oh, oh we're getting gosh. invaded by a cat. No! Oh, it's cat in a rock. <laughs> Literally, he, he, it's attacked, rock. he attacked the one with this the dupe token. This is not where you belong, Toby. You can sit there while we draft, buddy, but when we start playing, dude, I'm sorry, but no. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, these are really good. All of them are good. That's what makes this game so challenging, is there are so many good choices, mm -hmm. which makes every choice a terrible choice. <laughs> oh, Toby. You're like, ah, I decided to. He's me. permanently, like, embedding his claw into the yoga mat. He's like, nope, I'm here forever. His tail's all curly. He's in a good mood until I move him. Oh, well, yeah. Toby. I know you like to be on the show, but people traditionally don't like cats on game boards. Especially when they're trying to play the game. I guess I'm gonna do that. All right, beware the claw as we pass cards. <laughs> uh, I don't know, I still have a mark from the last time you got me. Sorry about that. No, no, it's fine. It's part of the life of being with cats. <laughs> oh, Lord. You're stuck, honey. Good grief. There's so many. <laughs> Alright. Uh, That's right. You're... Me too. Mm -hmm. No? No? That's <laughs> fine. Oh, man. I'm going to go for the long game list, I think, and I'm going to fail. <laughs> The, the tough part is knowing that you're gonna get some of those cards back, but probably not the ones you want. Yep. <laughs> so. If there's one that I passed, I think that will take four me too. I might be wrong, but I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> so, UO Thief just posted an orange striped cat face with sunglasses. <laughs> nice. <laughs> that <was> perfect. <laughs> So I think he's just basically telling us that Toby's telling us to deal with it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh <-huh>. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Thor life. He chooses you. <laughs> it's not that, no. Would you wear sunglasses, Toby, if I bought you little mini sunglasses? <clears throat> no, I don't think so. He's falling asleep on our freaking Valhalla. <laughs> <laughs> All glory to the cat. <laughs> glory to the cat. Huh. Oh yeah, that's four, right? Yep. Yeah. I've still got two more in the could potentially never see those cards again. Actually, never mind. <laughs> you will never see these cards again. Uh. Somebody's hoarding Loki cards. There had to have been some in this deck. There's <laughs> the one that I just got back that I started with. Oh, well, that one. No, I mean, it's the good ones. <laughs> Unless they were only in the four player game. Which is possible. Some of the better ones, maybe, yeah. Ooh, because there were some good I hoarded those good or ones. Or maybe they're not until the second age. No, there's one in each age, because oh. I had one in each age. I kept mm -hmm. on getting a plus one. But I'm thinking it might be only in four-player games, because... Mm. Probably a lot more duping out probably those shouldn't games. have kept that card. Oh, well. <laughs> Alright, this is the last card, and then afterwards we'll be discarding the mm -hmm. rest. Oh, we got bored already.
party. Don't sleep on his tablet. He's had a turgid tablet. That's fine. I'm going to knock it off the thing. I don't care. He's I'm curious about it, I think. <laughs> I think he wants to sleep on the chair. Mm. Yeah, I think he's yeah, and he's just a little annoyed Sorry, because honey. there's something there. If you're smart, you'd sleep right in front of the fan. Hopefully that fan's not making a lot of noise, because one time we played in here and I had that awesome oh, yeah. thing going on. It was really loud. I think but it was the older the Wasn't that the older one, though? No, it was that one. Oh. It was just, for some reason, it, the microphone picked it up. Maybe we're being too quiet. I, don't I know. thought it was. I thought it was the original microphone. No, well, the original microphone, yeah, it was really bad. Yeah. But that one is actually more sensitive than the original microphone. Um, but <laughs> I was like, well, thank you. Thank you much. Okay. And now we start with Ian, and you get to take your first action. Okay. Too bad. Oh, okay. The only one he destroyed was the one that was doomed. <laughs> <laughs> he sent those fine. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and invade, and invade Utgard. Utgard. Um, Ut yeah. Utgard. <laughs> Hmm. I'm going to play Frigga's Charm, which mm -hmm. is a clan upgrade. Mm -hmm. uh, upgrade cards cost you one less rage to play. Nice. Yes. Yeah, I was like, I knew that was that's never nice coming one. back to me. <laughs> yes, I wanted that. That's a nice one. It is a nice one. <laughs> I'm trying to remember if so. You said if you upgrade a, a unit, it can invade for free, or no? Yes. Yes. Okay. I'm upgrading my leader mm -hmm. with Lord of Hammers. So if I pillage, he moves. Mm -hmm. Okay. And invading. <laughs> Are you spending your rage? I did. Okay. Yeah. Um, the last one didn't cost me anything. Well, because it was leader. Yeah. Hmm. How do I want to do this? I'm going to spend one rage and lay down Frigga's Sucker. When you invade with any figure, you may invade with an additional warrior of that pro in that province for free. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yes. Okay. Well, I'm going to pillage. Okay. There's nobody nearby. So. Move there, so she gets glory. Mm -hmm. I mean, horns. Mm -hmm. And I move here because I successfully pillage. Yeah. Oh, cool. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that you could do that. That's why I laid down the uh, Lord of Hammers yeah. first. <laughs> Not just that. Hmm. I didn't use that card to good. Dead, so I'm like, oh, see <laughs> if I can get even half as much use out of it. <laughs> that would be pretty decent. I'm gonna upgrade my ship. Okay. Gain four before glory when a ship of mine is destroyed. Wait, and I'm actually gonna put it in that. This one? Yep. He kill he kills everybody or just uh, warriors? All enemy warriors. He's not a warrior, he's a leader. No. Hmm? He's a leader, oh. not a warrior. No. Alright. Or she's a leader, not a warrior. 
Hmm, I might put him elsewhere then. <laughs> <laughs> like you could destroy his warrior if you want. I don't know if I want to destroy him there though. Oh, actually, yes, I do, because that's rage. Mm -hmm. That's his leader. leader. Mm -hmm. I wish they had like. No, it goes in Valhalla. Oh, right. Yeah, it goes no. in Valhalla. He'll come back. Mm -hmm. Alright. So I'll, I'll pillage. Okay, and that's the reach. <laughs> <laughs>